I'm with Raed Khania from uh, Bethlehem. Now, what's it like for you living in the area where Jesus was born? I think I think I'm lucky for that to be with the, this land to see everything like uh, the history of Jesus and where he went, where he was, where he born. Uh, it's it's really nice. I feel like it's a, a holy land, you know, like it's holy land. I feel like I'm blessed to be in this land. So what's Christmas like in Bethlehem? Uh, it's wonderful. It's really nice. Uh, a lot of things. I enjoy it in Christmas because it will be praying one day, one week, together, celebrating with kids, where everything. It's really nice. Mm. So what do you eat at Christmas time? Do you have the traditional turkey and a Christmas pudding like the West Cup, or do you have something different? Uh, usually we we invite all the family uh, to our house and uh, we eat uh, and nice things together or we go to a restaurant. But usually it must be all the family, you know, like a lot of people invite them and then we go eat together or a, uh, in the house of someone. But it must, must be something nice like barbecue or uh, something with meat. I don't know, but most of the time I think it will be a barbecue. Now, do you have a Christmas tree in your house at Christmas? Yeah, sure. We, uh, we every house you will find a tree, Christmas tree, and also uh, lights around the decoration in the house. And some of them they put a cross above the house with the light. Yeah. Now, does it snow here at Christmas time? Most of the time, yes, but it's not every year. But yeah, most of the time, yes. And when it's snow, it's make it really nice because especially in Christmas we have the snow here so will Bethlehem this year be decorated with Christmas lights yeah usually it's uh, yeah and uh, but uh, the nice thing that every year it's a uh, different decoration and uh, in the streets and uh, all the houses the buildings, the churches everywhere uh, especially like around the church it will be a lot of lights a lot of um, uh, kind of gifts, decorations, really, we love it, and especially in the near Nativity Church, it will be full of lights. Now, you say Nativity Church, that's where it all happened 2,000 years ago. What's it like being there on Christmas Eve around Nativity Church? Okay, there's a park uh, in front of Nativity Church, and uh, there we have a stage. We put a stage only on Christmas, and uh, a lot of concerts that will be there at Christmas, uh, songs and um, like uh, choirs from everywhere will uh, sing there and a lot uh, every day it will be something else and especially the last night it will be uh, like a uh, nice feast a nice celebration it will be with the songs uh, people play on uh, musical uh, machines or uh, singer or something like this do they sing traditional Christmas carols yeah they do and it will be it will be really funny because a lot of people, uh, thousands of people, they will be in front of Nativity Church, uh, praying, uh, singing together. Really nice. Even Muslim, they are celebrating with us Christmas. Now the shepherds came to Bethlehem on that glorious night. How far are the shepherds' fields from Bethlehem? Uh, a few kilometers. I don't know how exactly, but not that far. Now, do you get many tourists coming to Bethlehem around Christmas time? A lot, really a lot. Too much. You can see all the hotels are full. You can see a lot of tourist buses in Bethlehem. You can see a lot of people are walking here and there. In the Mass, in the Nativity Church, in the Christmas, it will be full of tourists, even more than local people. If you go even the next day to the Shepherd's Field, also to be a lot of buses, a lot of tourists there are walking around, uh, even like you can say, it's more than local people, really. Now, the most important question is, does Santa Claus visit Bethlehem? Yeah, <laughs> uh, they do. Uh, we can see them also in uh, the street. A lot of people, uh, a lot of Santa Claus in uh, the street, uh, giving uh, presents, giving uh, sweets to the kids. Uh, everywhere, uh, I think they start from the beginning of December, yeah. and uh, with this Santa Claus uh, with the lights, so you can feel that Christmas is coming from end of November, beginning of December, that uh, all Bethlehem would be with light, uh, with a lot of Santa Claus, everything is red and white, because there is no uh, everywhere trees and uh, candles, and at the same time also in the um, Dutch organization. Uh, where I work, uh, they celebrate it on 5th of December, and they uh, make a lot of uh, pepernote, they call it, like kind of cookies, small cookies, and they give it to the kids. 
and uh, also with the Black Peter, it's in the uh, Dutch culture. And we celebrate in this organization 5th of December, and we all like it. It's really nice. So have you been good this year? Yeah, I do. <laughs> all of them good. <laughs> so what's your prayer for Christmas this year? To have peace in this land and to, yeah, <laughs> that, we, that we can have a lot of visitors to Bethlehem uh, from all the world, because I know that there's uh, many people like to visit Bethlehem, but they cannot, or there are some difficulties. Or here maybe they have we have some difficulties, but it's very nice, and I pray that they all can come and that we we don't have any problems in Bethlehem because this is the land of Jesus and this uh, where Jesus was born, and we hope that everybody loves each other. Okay, right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.